Hey guys, I wanted to make this video to show you what you could do with the Exposed Framework module Gravity Box. Now, if you don't know what the Exposed Framework is, I'll put a link in the description to my other video I made which explains what it is and how to get it. But in this video, we're going to be concentrating on the module Gravity Box. So once you've got the module installed and activated, this is what you're going to be left with. And you can see all the different tweaks, lock screen tweaks, status bar tweaks, navigation bar tweaks. Normally, this stuff would only be available to people who would want to flash a custom ROM. With Exposed Framework and Gravity Box, you can actually do this on stock ROM. You can already see I've got some tweaks going. I've got battery percentage in the circle mod and I am on the stock ROM Android 4.4.2. No other modifications except the exposed framework is installed. So let's go ahead and check out some of these tweaks. So the first one we've got is lock screen tweaks. If we tap into this, we've got the unlock ring settings and this allows you to have the unlock ring targets. If you don't know what those are, I'll show you. So once you activate it here, you've got up to five slots of which you can choose any application on your device. We'll choose Chrome. We'll choose, I don't know, Android Central, that'll do for now. And then if we lock the device, go to unlock it, you'll see that we now have two more targets. We've got Chrome at the top and Android Central to the left. You can actually just straight up unlock straight into these applications. So that normally is a feature that you'd only find on custom ROMs, but thanks to exposed framework and gravity box, you can have that on stock ROM. The other lock screen tweaks include stuff like different background image, so you can have a different image from what your normal home screen is. You can have a color fill or an actual custom image of your choice. You've got show battery arc. If you don't know what this is, it's this. So my battery life is around 51% right now. You can see there's a little yellow ring around that unlock showing you how much battery you have left. So it's about halfway, which is what I am. So what else do we have? Maximize, we'll turn that off for now. Maximize widget so you can have dash clock full screen straight from the get go. Disable widget limit, enable lock screen rotation, enable menu key, quick unlock and status bar lock policy. So jumping into status bar tweaks, now there's quite a lot in here, so I'm only gonna go through some of my favorite things, but the first one is quick settings management. And you can actually customize and rearrange the quick setting tiles. And you can see that here, you can add loads of different ones that aren't normally there on stock. So you've got quite a few to choose from. If we check out mine now, I've already customized it. So it looks pretty different. I've got wireless access mode, NFC and network modes. So you can change those around. You can uh, add different ones. You can reorder them to exactly how you want. And you can change the tiles per row. By default, it's three. You can change it to five. And you now get five per row. We'll change that back to three. And this is quite an interesting option, override default tile behavior. Now I'm not gonna show you this right now, but because I don't actually don't have those tiles in there, but it's basically gonna reverse the way it works on the stock ROM. If you're on stock right now and you press Wi-Fi, it will take you to the settings instead of turning it off, which is quite annoying. If you activate this and reboot, when you press Wi-Fi, it will turn it off. And when you long press it, it will take you to the settings. So it kind of reverses it. And it's actually a really, really cool idea if that's something you wanna do. So we've also got network mode, tile mode and you've also got allow LTE, you've got the auto switch quick settings. So when you don't have a notification, it'll always take you to the uh, quick settings. One of my favorite options has got to be the quick pull down. And this is something I loved from custom ROMs. If we click into it, we've got quick pull down from the right. And that means if you pull down from the right, you've got your quick toggles. If you pull down from the left, you've got your notifications. So you've got things like status bar colors. If you don't like the white icons of KitKat, you can change that. You've got the notification draw style. So you can have a color fill or a custom image when you pull down your notification shade. And you can also change the transparency so it's completely transparent. What other options do we have? Pie control. So you can see I've got these set to always right now, but you can have these set to never or only when expanded desktop modes on. And there is pie. You can customize that quite a few different ways, trigger sizes, different colors and all sorts of things. So you can have pie controls without having paranoid Android custom ROM or any other custom ROM. Next up is clock settings, and this is pretty obvious. You can have a center clock, so you can have your time in the middle, show days of the week, hide AM, PM, all that normal stuff. We'll turn that off for now. Next up, we have a data traffic monitor, and if you turn this on, it gives you the ability to check out the network speed in your status bar. So let's test this out with an app. We'll open up, I don't know, Google+, Plus, and when the data flows through, you'll see the speed come through on the status bar. So uh, that's kind of a cool little thing, a little bit of a geeky thing, but that's probably something I'll love. Moving on, we have the battery indicator style. So you can have loads of different styles here. Circle battery is what I'm using right now. Battery text, I love that. So you can, I don't know why that's not a feature on stock Android, so you can actually see the percentage. And right at the bottom, one of the custom ROM favorites, enable brightness control. And if you do this, you can actually mess around with the brightness just by swiping along the status bar. I know that's one everyone loves from custom ROMs. That's available with Gravity Box. 
Next up, we've got the navigation bar tweaks. And you can see once you've ticked the first option, which does require a reboot, you can change loads of different things here. You can enable navigation bar colors, you can change the icon colors, and you can also change the navigation bar height. So if we pull this down, you'll see it shrink and you can change that to exactly how you want. So that's pretty cool. Let's put that back on 100 leave that alone power tweaks advanced reboot menu and another one of my favorites here so by default it's like this and you can see you don't get any options really you just get power off airplane mode silent ringer and things like that if you turn on the advanced power menu or advanced reboot menu you've got reboot and you can reboot soft reboot reboot into recovery or reboot into the bootloader that is a pretty awesome thing right there you've also got some of these other options like screenshot in the power menu and low battery warnings things like that Display tweaks, we have things like expanded desktop mode, brightness settings, and once these are enabled, you can change the minimum brightness, you can change the way the screen dims, and you can also mess around with the auto brightness level so you won't need things like Lux anymore. And you've also got these other options like uh, screen off effects and unplug turns on the screen. Moving swiftly on to media tweaks, you can change the volume keys to skip a track, you can get rid of the safe headset volume, expandable volume panel, so you can see if you enable this, you can press this now and you have all your other uh, notification volumes right there. You can also have that expand automatically if that's something you want. Hardware key actions, this is pretty awesome. You can see most of the time I have it set to default, but on the back key, you can see the long press action is kill foreground app. Now you've got loads of other options here like go to sleep, show me recent menu, but kill foreground app as a long press for the back key. So let's try this out. We'll open up Chrome and we'll hold the back key. And boom, there you go, Chrome killed. So that does work. Some more options in the hardware key action, you can see here lock screen torch on volume down for long press, you can also change that on home long press. So if you turn the display off and lock the screen, we'll hold the down volume. And boom, there is your flash or flashlight, hold it down again and it will turn off. Now near the bottom we've got application launcher and to actually use this you need to go into the navigation bar tweaks and press show app launcher key and in the bottom left hand corner that launcher key will appear if we head back now to where we were before the application launcher you can set different applications in the slots I've got Facebook gallery greenify and calculator so you can click this anywhere and boom you have this little thing showing you, you it's kind of like a favorites app little bar you can have that pop up and easily switch between applications. Lastly, we've got miscellaneous tweaks, and if we click into this, we have stuff like a kill all button in the recent, so you can see at the bottom left-hand corner, there it is, so if you press that, it will kill all your applications, dive back into Gravity Box. We also have things like the RAM bar, which I don't have activated, and some other customizations here as well. So there you go guys, that's an overview of Gravity Box and what it allows you to do. You can see it gives you quite a lot of the options a custom ROM allows you to do, but you can have it on your stock ROM without having to flash another custom ROM. So it's pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out.